Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature well they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So it's away we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Chiro Immobile. He's your classic striker, Peter. Absolutely lethal when he's got a sight of goal. He can play both on the shoulder of the defender or as a kind of target man. But given his superlative finishing... That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Chooses to go back, and the shot! Spinazzola. Pellegrini. Spinazzola drives forward with purpose. Plays it into the box. Away from immediate danger. Spinazzola with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. Panucci. Marco Verratti. A real chance if he can get through. Oh, shooting chance!
Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Marco Verratti. Precious little by way of goal mouth action yet. Beautifully done. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Kolasinac. Kolasinac goes looking. Balls out on the left now. And here's Dzeko, and it's Pjanic. <laughs> the referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. The first half compared with your expectations. Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil nil. And the game has already resumed here. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully, they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. There's the delivery. That intervention was very necessary. Florenti plays it forward. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Marco Verratti. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection of what we've seen so far. Neither side is... Uh, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. Keeper's got good distance on that. Chiesa. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Florenti. Checo, Spinazzola positions himself well and cuts it out. Jorginho. Florenzi. Chiesa. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Italy being made to look sloppy in possession here. Time to deliver. Great leap! Italy showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. And it's Ferrati. Jorginho. Florenzi.
dancing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attack in heaven. Italy, and that's it. Italy starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucial. The final thoughts, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a good, solid team display for me.